I've, I've just traveled about 50 hours from the Galapagos Islands across to Ecuador to Miami to Los Angeles to Hong Kong and now down to Cote de Kinabalu here in, in Sabah in Malaysia. And it's striking to come to a market like this where we see all kinds of products and I think this is kind of a classic example of globalization. We spend our lives as conservationists in the Eastern Tropical Pacific Seascape finding ways to protect sharks and make sure they're there for posterity. We come halfway around the world and what we find is a lot of what we're trying to protect there actually has its end demand and, and ends up in markets here. I think what it highlights is the need that when we do conservation, we've got to think about both ends of it. Not only the supply side and what we need to do in terms of working with fishermen, but also what we need to do on the demand side. This is clearly a, 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 a culture that's uh, consumed shark fins for many thousands of years, hundreds of years certainly, and it's on the increase. So it's not an easy task, but we've got to really approach the, the solution to shark finning, to shark consumption, by looking at both ends, where they're produced and where they're consumed.